Google fossil collecting, you'll see that many of the animals preserved in our local rocks are beautifully preserved, and this is one of the hallmarks of the Cincinnatian series and makes us world famous for our fossils. In fact, many of the animals, like the trilobites, are almost preserved as if you could dump them in an aquarium and they'd get up and walk around. They are three-dimensional, they are inflated, and they are often articulated. And this preservation leads us to understanding a lot about the biology and ecology of these animals and the communities that they lived in. One of the treasures that we have in the invertebrate paleontology collections here at Cincinnati Museum Center is our glyptocrinus slab, known to us as our crinoid slab. This slab is only a portion of the total area that we have preserved, which roughly equates to about five feet by seven feet. It contains over 300 individual crinoids that are beautifully preserved and articulated all the way from the stem all the way through the arms and the body of the animal to even the very fine pinnule detail on the arms of these crinoids. What this tells paleontologists about the preservation of these particular types of fossils is that rapid burial must have been very quick in order to protect the community that we see in these rocks. And this provides us a snapshot of what Ordovician sea life looked like at the bottom of the ocean 450 million years ago. It's from this type of exceptional preservation in the Cincinnatian that paleontologists can begin to deduce information and answer questions about community structure, who was living with who and where, tiering, what kinds of animals were living at the bottom of the ocean and at what levels above the sea floor did they exist, as well as species interactions. It's slabs like this that also allow paleontologists to look at populations of organisms as they would have been living and existing on the seafloor 450 million years ago. That is an exceptional record that we have of life back in the Cincinnatian and the Ordovician.